Hi, this is your host, Kristen Howe. I'm so excited to welcome you to our call with today's guest, Asara Lovejoy. Asara's background includes a history of study and practice in the human potential movement. She received intensive training in quantum field theory, NLP, hypnotherapy, and energy healing. Asara has also studied beta, alpha, theta, and delta brainwave frequencies and their effects on human health and consciousness. Asara's message steps into the gap between desire for a better life and the ability to get there. Her passion is helping people create the reality they truly desire. And on today's call, you'll discover the untapped portion of your mind called the rich brain that brings you immediate success. You'll find out why negative thinking is a natural function and how to look at the good side of negativity. You'll find out how human beings are hardwired for success and how to engage that by accessing your theta mind. You'll find out the benefits of thinking in theta that are specific to your greater financial well-being. You'll discover a simple process to change old subconscious programs and redefine what you want to think in moments rather than years, how your confidence comes from within and how to access it easily, and ways to turn around your personal economy. I know that just got everybody to lean forward. So, Asara, thank you so much for joining us today, and welcome to the call. Thank you, Christian. I'm so looking forward to the call. And I also am the author of The One Command. And I've done some work as an author for the Nightingale Conant programs uh, that that are known around the world. So I'm enjoying bringing all of my message to as many people as possible to let them know that each and every person has this amazing biologically designed system of success right within them. I love that. Okay, so tell us how you got here. You know, we're talking about Manifest Everything Now. A lot of our people, and these are extraordinary listeners, by the way, they're fantastic. You know, a lot of them are struggling. They still believe that everything is possible, but they're struggling. And I'm guessing that you probably have gone through your fair share of struggles, as we all have. So could you share with us some of those and how you've managed to manifest the, the great success that you have now? Thank you so much, Christian. I'd love to share my story. Right now, the information that I was able to bring forward and to start sharing with people, um, which is called the One Command process, came to me during my own dark night of the soul when I was really ready to lose my home. So many people have gone through this financial crisis, and uh, it's uh, just heart-rendering. One of the things I noticed was that in my life, I've had a lot of success, and I had a pattern of going from being very successful to losing it, successful to losing it, and that struggle the struggle seemed to have more of my energy than the success. The enjoyment of the success had less satisfaction, less attunement to my own everyday life than the struggle. So one of the things that I discovered was that we as uh, human beings create habitual programming based on our unconscious beliefs that start early in our life, in our early childhood. And we repeat those patterns over and over and over again in our life. And what happens is that we begin to be attached literally biologically to the chemicals in our body that are firing when we're struggling. You know how many times they talk about people winning the lottery big and then being bankrupt four years later? or having a windfall of some sort and or an opportunity to be advanced and get a bonus. And then what happens is that some expense will come up that's exactly equal to the bonus or a raise in your salary. I don't know, Christian, if you have you ever had anything like that happen to you? Uh, I have absolutely worked with a lot of people that have had that happen. And yeah, you know, through my life, I definitely went through periods of not necessarily with money, but what you were talking about where I gained huge levels of success and then, you know, it suddenly would all disappear in in one moment, but then it would suddenly arrive again. And you're right. I never seemed to get past for the longest time, the sort of identical feeling. Yes. And so, so many people can relate to this. Now that's, that's one pattern. So when I hit my pattern, lost all my fortune that I had invested in a personal retreat center uh, because I had 
overspent for two years remodeling, uh, you know, invested up to almost $750,000, and it was every cent I had, and I had been totally committed to designing this beautiful center. So when I ran out of money, I couldn't get any more money because I didn't have any income coming in. So I was broke. I was overextended financially. I could not get any more cash or money. I was past due, about to lose my house and the mortgage. And I was just crushed. I was so devastated because it was like, oh, no, how did I put myself in this position? Here I go once again. And this time I'm just too old. I'm in my 60s. I'm too old to do this again. I can't face this. And, you know, so with that, and my children will be disappointed. All of that, you know, real sorrow that and grief that all of us have gone through for different times of our life. Well, when I hit that moment, I just called collapsed and totally gave up because I understood that my logical mind, my beta mind, which is our ordinary everyday thinking brain, couldn't come up with an answer, didn't have an answer. And in that moment, I practiced a technique that was going into a meditative state of theta. And in the theta, I'm going to talk a little bit more about what happens when you go into the theta brainwave and how it's beneficial. But for me, in that moment, when I went into theta, the peace of mind came instantly into my whole body. And in that moment, I saw these six steps and the one command that stopped my negative thinking and my fearful programming and my projection of failure. It stopped instantly. And in that moment, there was just this complete calm of a certainty that there was a solution outside of my logical mind that would be able to be realized within me. And so the command brought that realization by just making the statement in theta, I don't know how I keep my house. I only know I do now and I'm fulfilled. And in my logical mind, there's no answer, but in that greater intelligence that every person has within them, that's the rich brain. You know, the poor brain is the part of us that's going to say, we can't do it. There's blocks in front of us. It's not possible. The rich brain is this greater capacity that we're already biologically designed with. So when I hit that rich brain and it gave me this salute, it gave me this confidence, didn't even give me the solution yet. It just gave me the confidence. That's the first step is getting into the confidence that there is a solution. And now you're shifting from the poor brain of, oh my, it's bad. It's going to get worse. There's no solution. I don't have an answer to my problem. You stop all of that and you're now floating in what we call that, you know, cosmic field, that quantum field of an unlimited potential of creating a new outcome, something that is already possible in our uncreated reality. So any reality is possible for us to create. And we are doing it all of the time. Again, I'll explain that a little bit through the brain waves of the rich brain and the poor brain. So anyway, my rich brain gave me this beautiful, peaceful feeling. Well, within three days, my daughter had called and said, let's put the house up on a website. Let's, you know, put it out there on Craigslist. Let's, let's see if people could uh, lease your house, mom, and you could, you know, keep it by getting some income in. And I thought, you know, that's a creative solution. In my beta mind, I never would have thought of that. I would have wanted to stay and hunker down and worry some more and be stressed out and fearful right? We get stuck in, <laughs> we get stuck in the problem. We get stuck yep. in the problem and we stay in the pro- problem. Well, by golly, within two weeks, I had that house leased out with a $15,000 security deposit and they wanted to move in immediately. And I got a nice little, you know, apartment that was very reasonable and had that $15,000 as my startup money. And I just started sharing this message of this system that shifted me from complete loss and devastation into peace of mind and, and a resolution that was beyond my ability to think about in my logical mind. 
But what I discovered from that was this process of the one command and the six steps to stop your negative thinking and to open to your greater potential of your rich brain and allow something wonderful to happen for you. Now, people often say, well, isn't this, you know, like positive thinking or the law of attraction, Asara? And I say, no, actually, it's really quite, quite different. First of all, we have brain waves. And in those brain waves, we go into different states of consciousness and they have different functions. So in our ordinary consciousness of beta, what we're talking in now, when we're awake, when we're logical, when we're thinking about our problems, when we're thinking about trying to raise more money or find a solution or increase our income or make, have be more successful in our business, we're thinking in our poor brain. I love my poor brain. I love my logical mind. It's really great for making lists. It's really great for writing the manuals. It's really great, you know, to uh, figure out how to drive the car. But it's limited to only looking at a comparing and contrasting. That is the function of the logical beta mind. So it's always, always going to be negative. Because if you're comparing and contrasting, you've got to have something that is better than something else. That's a contrast. And in our logical thinking mind, where we're comparing and contrasting, the function of that mind also does something quite unique. When it's comparing and contrasting, let's say you want to advance your business. You want to bring more clients in the door. You want to have more clients in your coaching or your private practice of some kind, or you want to sell more of your merchandise online or in your retail store. You're trying to solve the problem. You're create, wanting to create a solution. So you're thinking in your logical mind how to do it. That is your least resourceful state for finding an answer because the logical mind only looks to the past or analyzes what other people have done. It doesn't create anything new. The, the purpose of the beta mind is to look to the past and then it projects to the future or it's analyzing. But when it's in that process, it's never experiencing a moment of now. It's never experiencing an expression of something spontaneously coming within you that could be an idea outside of the box, right? Everybody's had those moments when you've got the outside of the box idea that's the solution and you go, oh my God, that was so wonderful. I didn't know I could have that solution, right? Have you ever had that moment? <laughs> Oh, yes, more times than I can count. Right, right. So where does that solution come from, Kristen? So the way that that solution arises is in another portion of our intelligence that's our rich brain. And that rich brain has an open potential of increased intelligence. That's, you know, what I say, your personal intelligence. You know, many people are feeling like they have to go to universal intelligence or pray to God. And those are all great things. You know, those are wonderful things to do. And you do get answers there. But my message is this. You have a personal intelligence that's about 90 billion times bigger than your beta mind, than your logical mind. That's yours personally, Kristen, that has the ideas and resources and your dreams, hopes, wishes, and desires, has the answers to those, has ideas how to implement them, and has new thoughts that you haven't even had yet that are just waiting to show up in you. And every person also has that capacity for living life fully, for being fully realized, fully self-awake, and living in their rich brain. It's a simple process of learning how to become familiar, comfortable, calling up on the telephone line, beginning to uh, see and feel and think and hear from this greater part of our own brain, our own intelligence, and having that be as important and trusting as the way we try and realize ourselves now. So just let me give you a little comparison. If I were to say I was going to solve a problem in my beta mind, I'd say, you know, I would have enough information in a couple of states in the United States. And I could go tromp around in those couple of states and call up people and, and try and get answers or get a little internet support. And that would be the extent of where I could find my solutions. Well, when you go into your greater capacity of your alpha, theta, delta brain waves, you now are reaching out as far as the outside edge of our galaxy. When you're in that capacity, 
that's everything in the whole United States, you know, everything in the whole planet, everything outside of our planet and our solar system, everything out in the center of the Milky Way and beyond into the galaxy. Now we've got 400 million trillion other planets, solar systems, and we even have other galaxies that we can travel to. Now you're in an open potential. Do you think that there could be a new idea that you've never thought before that could solve your problem? Is that a possibility? Do you think that, Kristen? I do. I do. <laughs> well, there is because if you, you know, I ask people to I ask people to think that I, to uh, ask themselves this: Where do you get a thought? Where does a thought originate? And when you just stop and ask yourself that, where do you get a thought? Where does a thought originate? You get curious about how you are making internal choices about what you're allowing yourself to think. Now, there's a lot of information out there on how our subconscious programming limits our capacity to think in greater and bigger ways. And what I really love about my simple process of the six steps and the one command is that you are stopping the actual neurological firing of a negative thought. So it's a biological event. When you stop that firing of the chemicals, of the habit, of that thinking of maybe 20 years of thinking a negative limiting thought, and you just stop it, and you're breaking the transmitter, the neurotransmitters, the chemicals that are jumping from one neuron to the next neuron in the neurotransmitters. Everybody's seen those little pictures of the brain where you've got the electrical currents going, you know, along, jumping across. Have you all seen that? Have you ever seen those pictures? Oh, absolutely. Negative. Yeah. So I'm just wanting people to visualize that. that's what I'm talking about. So that's how we're actually thinking when we're thinking is we're firing these little chemicals that are running around in our brain. And those chemicals bring intelligence to our body and our mind and emotions of, oh, I can't. Oh, I'm blocked. Gee, this isn't possible. Why did I ever think I could do this? There's no hope. The economy's bad. You know, I mean, <laughs> you can add every negative thought, um, you know, imagining thought to that negativity, and we all do, you know, because we're affected by our outside circumstances and our internal idea of ourselves. Now, if we stop that and we command for what we want instead, so I don't know how I increase my business, how my rich brain brings me a new idea for more clients. I only know I do now and I'm fulfilled. And we do that in a theta state. When we're in that theta state, we're speaking directly to the subconscious mind. And now we're bringing in a new idea with a command that everything in us starts focusing on that. We're actually creating new chemicals in our body at that moment that say, oh, I'm, hey, I'm, this is my job now. I'm going to find an answer. My job is to find an answer and a solution. And literally, you feel your body expanding and you feel your consciousness expanding and guess what you have no answer in that moment it's so wonderful it's like hanging out with a potential and just first being in the belief that it's possible i love that and i love that hanging out with the potential element i think that's that's so powerful and and said a little differently than than maybe we've ever heard before hanging out with the potential that's a that's a cool thing and there's there's so much excitement to that that I, I think that's that's really powerful. Now, let me ask you this, because we've talked about negative thinking. You say there's actually a good side of negativity. Yes, the, that's what the, the part of the beta mind's job is. It, it, the negativity that the, that the beta mind has is the comparing and contrasting. So, you, 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 is, you know, make your list, good side, bad side. Right? So you okay. don't think negativity is bad when you're on the bad side. You just think, okay, that's one direction and this is another direction. Well, I might have to work. A lot of people that are building their business, the good side is they might make, they're going to make more income and they're good. At, but the bad side is that they'll lose their freedom. So there's like a right. negative, there's a negative fear, there's a positive hope. And when we look at our negative fear, we are able to see how we have programmed ourselves, how we've unconsciously gotten programmed that limits us. And so we say, oh, thank you. I'm so happy I got that negative thought. Now I know how I am limiting myself. Now, we're talking about coming into 
two states of awareness. One state of awareness is, like I said, ordinary consciousness, the poor brain, and I love my poor brain. I, you know, I, I accomplish, you know, I pet it and then thankful and grateful for it because it does this comparing and contrasting, but it's limited and it always is involved in struggle. Now, because it gets used to the struggle, as I said earlier, that was my addiction. My addiction was to the struggle. When I succeeded, everything in my system got off whack and was like, well, wait a minute. I'm not sure. I, what What's reality? Where's my life? Is this secure? Is this safe to be financially right. free? You know, people say they want it all the time. And when they get it, they lose it because they haven't prepared for it emotionally. They're not knowing that they actually have to create a different state change of awareness within them. So then the negativity is there for comparing and contrasting. So you can look at things from both sides, number one. And number two, the negativity, when it arises, needs to be embraced exactly the same way as a positive thought. A positive thought or a negative thought, when you're in the ability to observe your thoughts, now you're moving into a superpositioning in the quantum field of becoming the observer of yourself. You become the observer of your thoughts. And instead of being your thoughts, where your chemicals are firing and you're going, this is devastating me, I am so worried, I can't get beyond this. When you go into the theta brainwave, you're able to go into a field that's another positioning of observation of yourself. And you say, oh, gosh, you know what? That thought doesn't have any control over me anymore. But how would I like to change it? So give me, just give me an example of something that you would like to have improved in your life. So something that you th- see as a limit, and I'll show you how it works. Something I see as a limit, more creative expression. So I, I'm also an actress, so definitely the limiting thought, and I've done very well with it. I, you know, but now that I am at a different phase with it, there is the limiting thought of someone else has to give me the opportunity to be, to be creative. Okay, someone else has to give me the opportunity to be creative. So someone else has to say yes to you as an actress, as exactly. an actor. Someone else has to get put you in the movie. Someone else, oh, th- this is just so fabulous. This is really great. <laughs> okay, so this is very similar to people feeling that the world is holding their money back from them too. So that you're feeling that that the world, that there's a barrier between what you want and the world giving it to you. Which is hilarious because financially and with my business stuff, that is not there at all. So I'm looking at the two realities going, what the heck? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so great. So, okay, but but the feeling state or what you're telling yourself or what you're seeing internally, I'm just saying for other people, they may not be actors, but they probably could identify with the feeling that, gee, I'd like to have this and I'm working really hard for it and I've done everything right and it still hasn't shown up. Why? 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 There must be some key I need to unlock to get it to happen. And maybe I'm not, then it, then it drops down into, well, maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe you're not a good enough actor. Maybe other actors are better than you, you know, or maybe I'm not good enough to make more money. So what we do is we have the desire and we enact, we take action, we do our things in our business, in our personal life, in our careers. And then when we hit that wall, we drop back into judgment against ourselves. Hmm. And we are seeing the outside world is opposing us. So now that's the old dynamic of the poor brain. That's how the poor brain works. Right now, the rich brain, which is in your theta state of mind, operates completely differently. What if it were just as true for you, Kristen, that the role that you want is waiting for you? What if it were just as true that people are hoping that you'll show up so they can hire you? What if it were just as true that there's a a series of different movies or maybe even a TV show that you could walk right onto the set and be accepted in? Now, just saying those things, notice what your body's doing. Mm. What is your body doing? Your body's going, "Ah, ah, ah, I'm not sure. She's just making this up, right? She's just making this up. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. That's. That's how powerful we are as people in creating our reality. When we play this game of what I want instead, 
we don't even ask for really what we want instead. What we want instead is to create a new state of being that knows this in advance. So when you know that you're wanted, when you know that you're a great actor, when you know that there's many roles for you, you know, this is outside of what the beta mind will logically say because the beta mind's going into, well, Asara, that's not true. I'm going to argue with you right now because we know that it's really <laughs> difficult to get jobs in the acting industry. <laughs> There is a definite, you know, belief system in place that tells you that every day, right? So yeah. what my what my understanding of my own personal experience and the message that I want for everybody listening to the call is this. You are in charge of creating reality. You are in charge of creating a new dimension within yourself of understanding, and you don't have to know how. As a matter of fact, you can't because your logical, biological beta mind won't know the answer. But your greater intelligence energetically absolutely knows what the feeling state, what the visual state, what the words are, what the experience is of I'm hired as an actor in my perfect movie, in my perfect TV series, in my perfect place as an actor. Okay, and as I'm actually saying this, let's just say for the people listening that you wanted to have more money or you wanted more success or you wanted more love, then you would just say, I am in the perfect place in my thinking for the right love. I, I don't know how I'm in the right place for greater success in my life. I don't know how more clients and customers come to me. So whatever it is that you're wanting to create, we're creating it not as an affirmation and not as a law of attraction. We're creating it in your rich brain as a, as a law of creation. So I'm going to take everybody through the process because they've got to be so curious by now how this really I works, was right? Say, sorry, you've got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, because listen, I, I just want to share with you that, you know, I have been a junkie all my life for the human potential movement starting at, you know, age five when I went to six different churches and then 13 when I studied the science of mind, Ernest Holmes' science of mind text where he's talking about thought creates reality. So I have been on this quest my whole life to share with people the power of who we are and how we are in charge of our lives if we understand how we operate. It's a lack of knowledge. It's not a lack of skill. It's basically a lack of knowledge. So the knowledge is in on the science now that meets the metaphysics. The science of Dr. Bruce Lipton and uh, Joe Dispenza and Greg Braden and so many of the people out there speaking about the human potential movement, the science is in that backs up this activity that I'm talking about in our brainwave. And the, the technique I teach is six simple steps to go into the theta mind consciously. And I, I don't know how we're doing on time, but I just want to do this one little piece, share this one little piece of information about why the theta brain wave is so powerful. When, do we have time for that? Absolutely, we have, yeah. Okay, great. Absolutely. Okay, so when the reason that being in the theta brain wave is so powerful is that when we're developing in the mother's womb and up until five years old as a child, we are predominantly in the theta delta brain waves, and our cognitive beta mind doesn't even show up until we're about five or six. So in our childhood, our subconscious mind accepts everything that we are experiencing. And when we're experiencing it as a child and an infant, we are not learning while we're experiencing, we're learning while we're sleeping. And at night, so the kid is playing with the little blocks and start stacking them and knocking them over and stacking them and knocking them over. And at night, the brain is now going to sort through what that means. And that's in a deep level, rapid eye movement, theta brainwave sleep state. So we all go into this deep theta state. So number one, our ideas about the world were created when we were small, defenseless, and powerless. 98% of everything we think about our potential and our possibility and the way the world works was designed when we were that child. And it's our subconscious, what I call baseline of reality. So if you had a difficult childhood, you're going to say the world's not safe. 
I don't have a safe place in the world. Mom and dad are over there arguing and that feels bad. Then you say, I am bad because there's no separation in the theta brainwave. You are that experience and it is the home of all of our unconscious programming. Now at night when we go into that theta state at least three times, what we're doing is discharging the negativity, the fear, the stress of the day. And that happens if we don't have that rapid eye movement three times a night, we start to get sick, we get psychotic, all kinds of weird stuff happens, right? And the neuroscientists talk about that all the time about sleep deprivation. Now, when you go into the theta brain wave and you sleep at night, what else do you do? You dream and imagine. You dream and imagine and create things that you would like to have happen. You have good dreams. You have nightmares, but you have good dreams. So nightmares are discharging and good dreams are creating. And when you do, your brain and your body are taking that information in as reality because there's no difference in that theta brainwave of an idea in it being real than you having an experience. In that brainwave of theta, that is reality. That's the dream state. So what I say is my teaching is to teach us how to dream while we're awake and consciously direct our dreams in our rich brain. And it happens physically. So do you understand what I'm saying? Does it make sense to you what I just shared with you? Absolutely. Yeah. So that's how we create reality over and over again. Now, I I laugh because I like to say, hey, everybody, you are already a master of reality. There's no way that you're not creating your life today in this moment. Okay, you're a master of reality. But mostly we're masters of fear, lack, negativity, you know, or a modicum of success or some great success, but fear of having it taken away or we've reached the ceiling and we can't get beyond it. Right. Yep. Yeah. So what if you're a master outside of that paradigm and you were a master of creating reality in a brand new way? That would be exciting. And that's why I say using this process and thinking in these ways, understanding this new information actually becomes the next great adventure of your life because you get to see where you're making change and how change affects you. So let's just take everybody quickly through this six-step process. I'm going to make it very light. When you first are doing it, it takes about 10 minutes, but I'm going to try to make it in about five. So what I'd like you to do, everybody that's listening to the call, I'd like you to take a minute and think about something that you would like to create for yourself. And please, if you don't think it's possible, pick that. Pick the most impossible thing that you can think of to create for yourself. Okay, and when I get into theta and I'm going to say, I don't know how, then I want you mentally to say, and I'll say, I only know that you put in what you want. I only know that I am hired as an actor today. I only know that I have the acting job of my dreams and I am fulfilled. So whatever the listener wants, you're going to put in in that blank space. I'll tell you when it's done. Now, the six steps is to go through a process of organizing the brain and the body to be able to be in harmony to opening to accepting these new ideas. So just go ahead and close your eyes and take a nice breath. (sighs) Relax. And just send your energy down into the earth, down, 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 and ground. And connect like roots out the bottom of your feet with the intelligence of the earth. The earth is wisdom of billions of years of knowledge and information. Has the DNA of all the bones of our ancestors, of those that were thriving and succeeding and rich and rewarding. And mysteries of the world that we don't even understand, such as gravity. That science cannot still to this moment explain why or how it operates. So powerful, it protects us from being scorched by the sun, and so gentle, we walk upright. Tune in and tap into those mysteries and that knowledge and that grounding earth base of where we are in our human state. Bring that knowledge up, back through your feet, up into your body and your solar plexus, and come up into your heart and align in your heart. Align with love. To see a nice breath, light going out your heart. 
align your purpose in love and harmony and joy. Now we're going to move our consciousness up and you're going to let your eyes look up underneath your closed eyelids. This is replicating the REM rapid eye movement theta state. So just let your eyes look up underneath your closed eyelids and then imagine moving out of your body up through the ceiling, up through the sky. Don't strain your eye muscles. It's a new new uh, activity like lifting weights, just looking up gently underneath your closed eyelids and then moving that consciousness up and out as if you're traveling out through space without your body, out through this beam of light that's beaming up through the center of the universe, out past the sky, out past our planets and our solar system, out past the Milky Way till you get to the edge of the galaxy and there's this black void and you're just going to push up through that black void and you'll pop into the white luminosity of all that is, of all that potential that's yours personally, and more. And mentally just hear the words, I don't know how I put in your command. Oh, there you go. I'm going to say it for you, Kristen. I don't know how I am hired as an actor and succeed in my acting career now, I only know it's so, and I am fulfilled. I don't know how I come to be for everybody. I'm going to just say this as generic. I don't know how I come to be so confident in my ability to create and realize my hopes, wishes, dreams, and desires. I only know it's so now, and I am fulfilled. Now expand out into an idea that's even greater, that serves a greater good for you and the world than you can even imagine. Just allow yourself to hang out there. Good. Perfect. This is where you're receiving all this new information and knowledge. This is where you're organizing the whole universe to come into compliance with you. Yeah, there you go. Good. Now bring it back down. Bring it back down into your body. Let your eyes relax. And we're literally speaking to your cells of your body, your DNA, and your brain. And we're saying, unwind. Unwind. Unwind my limits, my fears, my regrets, my judgments against myself. Let them go. And now in this nice, beautiful space in you, rewind, rewind, rewind. This new picture idea of healing beyond the ability to know with your five senses of this state of being that you just created that's real. Rewind inside of yourself. Ah, okay, how'd that feel? Are you back? I am. Okay, how'd that feel? Amazing. I feel grounded and huge all at the same time. Huge in a good way. Yes. <laughs> Expanded, grounded and expanded. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's it. And, and, you know, when people do this little process on a regular basis, everyone reports that the very first thing they experience is just being more relaxed and peaceful about what they want to create, even being more relaxed and peaceful about their problems. And would you think that it would be easier to go forward from that positioning rather than, uh, of course. (laughs) Absolutely. And so the benefit of theta in my programs, I share a lot of knowledge and information about the benefit of theta. Yeah, actually what I would love to know because, okay, so you've just taken us through this very powerful experience is really what I'd love to call it. And this is something that now now that we've done it, it's like, oh, okay, I, I can see how that, you know, you can do this. So I, I love that. I love the, there's an ease to it, which I love. So can you share with me a few of the success stories and transformations that people have experienced while working with you and what you're teaching here? Yes, I would love to. That'd be just wonderful. When we create reality, we're in a fixed field of having our expectations, our unconscious expectations met. And it's as if we have blinders onto anything else happening. So when we're making this command in theta, we're shifting and opening to a new potential that we haven't experienced yet, but it's possible to experience it. And because we're in that 
possibility of that experience, it literally becomes visible in our world, in our possibility. So now we created a new reality with that as real to us as what we already believe to be true. We only create what we believe to be true. So now we're creating something new that we're believing to be true that we've never had be true for us before. And literally your body changes. Your cells of your body change, your stomach, you can feel your your movement in your stomach. You're releasing old limiting toxins and ways and structures of your physical your physical movement of your body so i say over and over again this little process that i do with the one command is a biological neurological real event in our in our life saying that now we can create what we want on purpose so now we've created a new baseline of reality, including this new success program that we just designed for ourselves and implemented and instructed ourselves to know. And we now know it. So as a consequence, the world opportunity meets us in this new reality. So one example was Barbara Montgomery, and they had not been able to finance their house because they had bought it on a contract of sale and had bad credit due to some medical bills. And this had been going on for six years. So I met with her and she came to one of my courses, the commanding wealth course and learned how to do the command. And she and I had a private session and we were doing a command and she commanded, I just really want to refinance my house. I've been turned down, you know, 25 times, but I still want to do it. And I said, you know what? You can have it, Barbara. I don't know how it's possible. I only know your house is refinanced right now for you. So that's not real in the real world, right? But we're commanding that this reality be real. Now, she went on the internet and there was an offer of, we can refinance your house no matter who you are. She said, well, in the past, she wouldn't even have clicked on it because, oh, yeah, one of those scam deals, right? So I'm just going to do it. So she clicks on it. She gets a phone call like two minutes later. Nice Irish brogue. The fella is real. Within 30, no, 45 days, they had refinanced her house. They had added income to it so that even was able to finance, refinance some of the equity and, and take out some of the equity. And they had cleared the title because the way that she had it set up with the paper with the sale, the title hadn't even been transferred to the people she'd been paying. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> right, right. So, so this horrible mess was able to be resolved like in a moment. And it's only because the old programming of no, not you, not yet, not now, not ever, you can't, got re reversed, got changed to yes. And I don't know how it's happening, but yes, it's true. It's just as true as standing up every day and knowing that gravity exists. We don't question it. Mm -hmm. you know, we never question our limits, right? We believe right. them. We never question them. So we just keep creating them because we believe them. <laughs> right. <laughs> so that, that was one example. I, I love that example. Another example, which is really wonderful because right now people are having these loan modifications where they can get help from the government because the administration, literally the Justice Department, made the Bank of America perform. Starting in May of 2012, they said, if you don't start lending the money to people that need to refinance their homes and get these mortgage discounts, you know, you're going to pay a huge penalty. So a woman was in that process of the loan modification, and she wanted the the principal reduction because one of the programs was you can reduce your principal. So her mortgage was $600,000. They said, well, we can reduce it to, you know, $400,000. Wow, wouldn't that be wonderful, right? Mm. You know, to get that principal reduction. Well, she went to her attorney and he said, well, no, you won't be able to do that because there's only, you know, there's two programs, but you won't get that one. And she said, I don't care. I want that one. I want that one where I get the $200,000. I don't know how I get that one, right? So she went through with the attorney, filed all the papers, and he was telling her, you know, you're going to, the best you're going to get is a reduction in your interest on, on your loan, you know. 
And then she got a call out of the blue from the person that was processing it and says, well, would you like to come in for a meeting? I kind of want to finalize everything. And she went in for the meeting and he, and he says, well, so would you like this to be just a, you know, a interest reduction or would you like it to be a principal reduction? She said, well, of course, a principal reduction. Right. He says, okay, great. She left the office. Three days later, she got a, a letter from the Bank of America saying, you have gotten a principal reduction of $200,000. And, wow. and an interest reduction, not possible in your beta mind, but in our, but our creative intelligence, we can move mountains by creating a new state of awareness within us. And these are real. And then there's just simple little moments of shifting out of a negative fear or thought or feeling towards somebody you love. I mean, we use the one command in personal relationships. It's really powerful. Wow, I, I love that. I think, and it's so interesting because that second story you told, she was also not only dealing with the maybe the beta limitations of her mind, but also of someone else's mind. So it's, what do we do then? Do we just have to have that awareness? Yeah, yeah. Cancel clear what somebody else says to you. Cancel clear. Yeah, you know, when I when I was telling that story about leasing out my home when I was about ready to lose it, the first thing I did was go to realtors on the island because <laughs> I live on this beautiful Whidbey Island. And I told them, you know, I need to rent my house out for 3000 a month. And they were like, ha, 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 that will never happen here on Whidbey Island. And I was like, well, what do you mean? She says, you know, the even high-end homes here, you know, the most we're going to get is like twelve, fourteen hundred dollars $1,400. And I'm like, okay, I just – that does not compute with me, you know, in my new reality. That doesn't right. compute with me. And I just would love them, and I'd say, thank you very much. You're not my realtor. You yeah. know, I am not going into acceptance of your limiting thought about what I have commanded. <laughs> because it becomes a certainty. You know, it right. would be like somebody telling you, you cannot walk tomorrow. Gravity is going to be gone. Right. And, you would, and you would say, that's not true. I right. know that's not true, right? So you're shifting your ability to have your own discernment, your own discretion, and your own power. This is this, so. This is what I love. I mean, I, and you said this before. We only create what we believe to be true. And you know what I get so excited about helping people do is take control of their lives, change their beliefs so that they are creating what they what they desire. And I think that's so powerful. And there's obviously there's so much more to learn from you. So, yes, I did ask you to create a special offer. So go ahead, click on the special offer button that's on this web page, and we will take you right there. And everyone, definitely go there right now to experience this for yourself while Asara talks you through it. And Asara, take it away. Let us know what we'll find there. Great. All right. So the program that we're providing for Manifest Everything Now is called The One Decision That Can Change It All in Your Business Success. And if you are not in business, you can just drop off the business and you can say in your success. But the one decision that you must make to be a success in your business takes you through a three-hour program that explains how you make a decision for success and what it is and that there's only one decision that you must make. When you make that decision, your success will arrive. It is certain it will arrive. Also in that program, we give you a bonus of the three beliefs that can change it all for you. And that's another two-hour program. And then we have five spectacular bonuses of receiving and allowing your good to arrive, creating your inner support, blueprint for success, rules to unlearn with solutions, and meeting yourself in the moment for instant power. Now, all of those programs, every one of them, take you through the six-step process during the program so that you're guided to make commands that in, install the programs that you're learning. See, one of the things that I really am excited about that I value so highly is being able to implement and take action and apply an idea. I mean, we all know that there's a wonderful amount of motivational material out there, but mostly what we do is read it or take the seminar, and then maybe we got a good idea out of it. Maybe we were motivated for 48 hours, and then it begins to slip away. So what's a little bit different with the One Command approach is that when you take any of our programs, we have built in the six steps and the One Command to implement biologically and neurologically the understanding of what it is that we're sharing with you of the idea that we're bringing to you to understand. 
Wow, I love that. I, I, and I, you know, I just, I do, I love how you, because we've all heard about the different brain states and brain, you know, beta, theta. But I think the way you put it is so unique that it makes it feel, you know, I even love the I don't know how. It just makes it feel like it's almost like we get to take the pressure off of ourselves and just get in there, as you said, and sort of hang out with the potential. And that's so exciting. You know, you just nailed it. I, I usually explain that in, in that why we say I don't know how. But you just nailed it. It's like when you just – if you just – Everybody close your eyes and think of a negative thought, think of something fearful and limiting, and then mentally just say, I don't know how. And then open your eyes and see how you feel. Now close your eyes and look or feel at that negative thought. Okay, open your eyes. So mostly it's diminished. Almost everybody says it's diminished or reduced. And yeah. the reason is, is that the stress is taken off the, the beta mind. The beta mind, you know, the poor brain of ours, is working so hard for us to try and give us what we want. But it's like a four-cylinder engine. Mm -hmm. It really can only operate at top capacity, and at top capacity, it has to, there's nothing more for it to perform with. So when we say, thank you for everything you've done for us, beta mind, now I'm going to go into my theta mind, and I'm going to get the answer to this, then your beta mind goes, geez, I'm so relieved. I thought I had to know everything. And we're in this instant demand, you know, world of ours right now. Hey, do you want to get married? Oh, you didn't say yes. You don't love me. <laughs> right, right. You know, oh, here, I'm going to text you, you know. What do you think about this X, Y, Z? Okay, that's not enough information. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, yeah, you only gave me three seconds. I mean, <laughs> can I have, you know, at least 30 minutes to think about it? You know, so we have this demand society that we're operating in that creates a lot of stress. When I don't know how, then we're saying, okay, I'm going to just surrender for a minute with having to have an answer. And then when we go into the state of mind and we discover that we can get the answer, in a whole nother way than through our small poor brain and through our great intelligent rich brain. Oh my heavens. And it works. You get it, you do it and it works. Oh my mm. gosh. Then it, you know, it's like you have to get used to it. You literally have to get used to having your life be a better success and easier success and getting the results that you want quicker, better, brighter, easier with more fun. I love that. Okay, so when when someone starts using what you what you have to offer here, what are some of the biggest benefits that people could expect to, you know, experience right away as well as over time? Obviously, we've we've heard some of the amazing stories and I'm sure it just keeps going from there. But but right away, what are some of the things that we would expect to experience? Well, right away, what you will experience is a peace of mind and uh, less stress over creating what you want. Second of all, you instill more trust. You actually begin, begin, when you start operating more and more in theta, you actually have a greater connection to people and you have a greater connection to trusting yourself in the world and to trusting others in the world. Also, your intuition is heightened. You really begin, because the theta is that place where we get that intuitive information and knowledge. So we trust our gut. Things turn out well often. You notice that you go from success to success to success instead of that roller coaster ride that I was talking about up and down. And then you literally get, you know, the results that you're commanding. You, you have things actually happen. And sometimes, you know, does it all happen at once magically? No, this is not a magical formula. This is a real process that makes change. And you can work the process and make change and see the results right away in some cases. But for me, for example, from that moment when I had that transformational experience and I started creating my life from, from the theta mind and my business, and I just went out and started sharing the message, and then I ended up writing the book. Then I got picked up by Penguin to distribute and publish my book. Then I, you know, was able to bring the message to over 300,000 people around the world and have worldwide one command circles happening everywhere. And then we started an educational program. All all of that happened by my command. 
in my preparing myself to be able to accept the reality that I was creating. So some, does that make sense to you? Sometimes it happened very quickly. And yep. when it didn't, I kept noticing, well, okay, what I commanded hasn't showed up yet because I still have something that is limiting me, that mm. is holding me from experiencing this new reality. And then I would just keep commanding that I got the information, that I made the changes. And then what I love, the best part about this is that when that good arrives for you and you have commanded for it to happen, you are prepared for it. Is There's no stretch. It's just as if it's the next natural step that you are ready to take. Mm, I love that. How great is that? So you just step into it? You're ready for it. It's just yeah. like, it's almost like there's this, it's almost like there's this veil and that you worked at lifting the veil and then you walk into this new world and you're calm, confident, peaceful, redesigned in your biology to know this new world. And you, so I'll give you a quick example. When I started my radio show, which I can't do for 2013 because I'm going to be on tour all around the world. But when I had my radio show, I commanded that I start at the top of the heap, you know, that I get to have the very best people in the human potential movement be on my show. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how I created it, but my third show, I had Bruce Lipton on my show, Dr. Bruce Lipton. Wow. And then I had Dr. Joe Dispenza from What the Bleep Do You Think You Know? And then I had, you know, Guy Finley, the spiritual mess, and then Lynn McTaggart, and then Barbara Marks Hubbard. And then, I mean, I don't know how I did it. Honestly, I just know I commanded that it was going to happen, that I was just going to have the best guest for my radio show when I started. And it happened by commanding it. I love that, and, and what a great way to sort of wrap things up. So everybody, again, simply click on the special offer button on this page. And remember what Asara said, because this really rings true to me. We only create what we believe to be true, and what Asara is sharing with you today allows you to change what you believe is true and literally command it. And I think that's so powerful and so exciting. And I can't wait for all of you to hang out with the potential because that's exciting. Asara, is there anything you want to share with us before we head off for today? I just thank you so much, Christine, for uh, having me on the show and for the opportunity for me to play with as many people as possible in the world. I just love bringing the, the thought and, and the idea to people of honoring that greatness that's in each and every one of you and, you know, playing with designing your life exactly the way that you wish it to be because I witness and know it's true for you until you know it's true for yourself. So thank you so much. Absolutely. And thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you, Asara, for everything you brought to this call. You were just fantastic. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.